There you go. It went today. I felt uh, it went pretty good. Um, it was just like a waiting moment, just waiting for pro day after the combine. You know, it's been about a month, but it was exciting to go out with my boys one last time, and it just felt good to be back out there on the football field and doing drills again, instead of running and lifting. You know, something we don't really do, but you know, I just felt good to be back out there again. Between this and the combine, how do you feel like this has maybe helped you out a little bit? Right. Um, I feel like it answered some questions that the scouts may have, whether it may be my coverage skills or my hips or my movement. I feel like I covered that, so I think everything went smoothly today. Do you have any goals coming into today? Um, I mean, my one goal was just, just to give everything I have with all my effort, and I felt I'd done that, and I left everything out there, so I mean, there wasn't really much more I could do. Well, what's, what's the whole process been like for you from when you declared to now? Right. It's been exciting. There's been a lot of ups and downs, you know, the waiting game, you know, who's, who likes you, who's interested in you. Um, but it's been fun. You know, it's a process you only get to do once in your life. So, shoot, I'm trying to enjoy every second of it. Um, I'm trying to enjoy it from meeting with these teams to this pro day to going out with my boys one last time and just everything. It's just been a fun process. We didn't get a chance to talk to you since you decided to leave. I mean, was that a tough choice at all, or was it kind of an easy call? I mean, we're seeing you have a possible first rounder now. Was it easy, or was it a hard, hard decision to make? Right. Um, well, of course, I mean, it's not easy to leave a good program like this. You know, they've done a lot for me. I thank Boise State, um, but it was not easy for me. Um, I did a lot of praying. I did a lot of talking with my family, my teammates, my coaches. So it wasn't easy at all. Obviously, you see now with where you're projected and how it's gone, right. you feel like everything obviously was a good choice, and you feel happy with everything so far. Right. Um, I mean, I'm doing everything in my power. I'm doing what I can. So it's now up to these teams to take what they want from it. And I'm just waiting for someone to take a shot at me because I know they won't, won't regret it. How what's many, how many visits? Jared, what's next? What do you do from here? Right. Um, now it's really just a waiting game. Um, there might be some teams that want to bring me out on a visit or do another workout or so, but, but now it's just a waiting game. So, How many visits have you made so far? I, have, I haven't no, made any. None yet. Have you had no. anybody Berkey out here? Um, yes. I had the Titans yesterday. You had, you know, so I mean, you probably have a bunch lined up. I remember you talked to almost everybody at the combine. Right. So, what's that process been like? Just you said you right. talked to almost everybody now so far. Right. Um, it's been an enjoyable process um, meeting head coaches and GMs. You know, like a bunch of guys you see on TV. It was a exciting process and a, a little bit overwhelming process. You know, but it was cool to see those people and be like, man, that could be me playing with you guys someday. So. It was just a cool experience overall. If you'd be the next in the, you know, at your position, you know, you have Shane McClellan, Demarcus Lawrence, right. yourself. You know, what, what, what would that mean to you to see you kind of continuing to being maybe a potential right. another high pick at that position here? Right. Um, I don't kind of see it that way. You know, I kind of see it as just me enjoying something that I love to do, and I love the game of football. I'm gonna give everything I have because I know I can't play this forever. So I'm just enjoying the moment, and I'm just doing the best that I can right now. How big of a deal would first round be for you? Um, I think it would be a dream come true. Um, it would be an awesome experience. But as of now, you know, that's all talk and stuff, you know. So you don't really know until draft day, until you get the call. But I'm hoping someone takes a shot at me because I know they won't regret it. So. Has football changed much for you at all? I mean, we talk about on-field workouts in front of, you know, GMs from a lot of the, right. the you know, the teams in the NFL. Right. And, and how honest is it, does this whole process keep you? I mean, from interviews to on-field workouts, you kind of have to be on your game every day, it seems. Right. Um, I think it was a, a huge switch from the college game to being a professional football player. Um, it taught me already to, to hold myself a little bit better off the field, just kind of watch what I do. 
you know, and um, it was just, uh, you know, it just taught me to be a better person overall. And on the field, it's just, it's still going out there, running, jumping, playing football. So at the end of the day, I mean, it's still football. Last one for me, you mentioned it being be a little overwhelming. What, what yeah. do you mean by that? Because you're, you're a bit uh, of a quieter guy. Right. I don't know if that's it or what. Yeah, I'm kind of a quiet dude. So, so just for one example, when I met with the Colts and I seen Coach Chuck Pagano, I was like, man, I see you on TV. Like, you're Andrew Lux coach, you know? It's just like, at first, I was like, wow, this is crazy. But it was cool. It was exciting. And I know I'm only going to have a chance to do it once in my life. So, so I'm just trying to soak up everything right now and enjoy it and just go through it.